Um, today, I am just so thankful for the wonders of technology, the way that we're able to kind of share with each other like this. Uh, on Sunday morning, I was able to go to church. We were able to just sit in the kitchen. Uh, I was sitting there in my slippers with a cup of coffee in front of me, but able to share in uh, in the church service and Adrian and the gang uh, streaming the service live. And after that, it was Mothering Sunday. Susan and I were able to both video call our parents. Our wonderful parents have mastered the art of FaceTime uh, and we were able to have a great blather with them uh, just uh, by video calling over the airwaves. Incredible how connected we can all still feel thanks to the wonders of technology. So it would be great if these little daily candle broadcasts could actually help some of us just say a quick hello and connect with the outside world like this. Hi. 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 This is about take 26. Hello. So if you would like to say hello or give us a little update of how things are going for you or share a story of something that inspired or encouraged you or even better, if you would like to be the person who lights the candle, it would be great if the candle lighting could be from our kitchens. You get to show off your kitchen uh, and light the candle uh, and share it with the rest of the world. Just let me know. It would be great if we could feed in a few little clips uh, into these daily candle broadcasts day by day. Just when you're lighting the candle, just take really good care. Fire safety at all times. Uh, don't get over enthusiastic like this poor vicar over in Plymouth in England. And then, of course, to wait for an answer. Uh, I've just been pausing uh, between these. Oh dear, I just caught, caught fire. <sighs> oh my word. And so with due care and caution and all fire safety regulations adhered to, let's light a candle for today. It's Monday the 23rd of March. I pray for light in a dark world. For hope in a fearful heart. Peace in a worried soul. 